Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Do you know what vibes are short for? How would you describe the aura around you? Vibes are short for vibrational frequency, and they're the main ingredient of your aura. The roller coaster of life looks different for everyone, but no matter what, it will have both highs and lows. Surrounding yourself with positive energy and people can maximize your potential for a happy life. As the law of conservation states, energy can neither be destroyed nor created. Rather, it can merely be transferred. Thus, suffice it to say, you have been surrounded by energy, whether it be good or bad, since the second you were born, and even before that. So that being said, everyone also radiates their own energy. It's important to be mindful of what kind of energy each exudes, but it's also crucial to be aware of the energy surrounding you. Here are nine signs you're being consumed by negative energy. Number one, frequent mood swings. It could just be your hormones, or it could also be that you're being overwhelmed with negative energy, events, or people in your everyday life. It may be difficult for one to release said energy immediately in a healthy, conscious manner. So this energy may often resurface through emotional turbulence. Number two, glass half empty. Ever heard of the saying, you become who you hang around the most? Well, there may be some truth in that. Negative people often subscribe to the worst possibilities in life, and they may subconsciously be urging you to do the same. When you consistently see everything around you with a pessimistic approach, you just might end up missing the joys in life. The way you perceive life can often be indicative of your mental well-being. Extended periods of sustained pessimism are also linked to a multitude of sleeping disorders, heart disease, and depression. Number three, social media junkie. Do you always have an inclination to check the latest tweet, Instagram post, or Snapchat? Overconsumption of social media prompts you to compare. And as the saying goes, comparison is the thief of joy. Endlessly scrolling through the seemingly perfect lives of others might push you towards discontent with your own. More often than not, it can also lead to unhealthy addiction. You may not be aware of it, but negative energy often finds its way into our laps through the social media updates of celebrities, brands, and even friends. Number four, discouraging thoughts. Do you often find that your harshest critic is your own brain? Negative self-talk such as, I look terrible in this, or I just can't do it, can severely impair your self-esteem and limit your potential in the long run. Learning to appreciate and owning your not so perfect self can help you take precautions to put up a barrier against such negativity. Number five, you feel anxious often. Think about the times in which you feel the most anxious. What triggers it? Do you feel particularly down in one environment compared to the other? Certain places and people can heavily impact you. It's important to stay vigilant of when and how. This way you can avoid or find a way around them when you know they end up upsetting you. It's also crucial for your well-being to also find a safe setting to let loose in life. Being in the previous environment is unavoidable. Number six. Your funny bone hasn't been tickled in a while. When was the last time you really laughed? Is it difficult for you to indulge in a funny joke when consumed by a negative comment someone made earlier that day? Humor and laughter are often underappreciated, but they're key to living a happy, fulfilled life. If you haven't felt like laughing much as of late, it could be a sign that you're over-influenced by negativity in your life. As a result, you're unable to enjoy or appreciate the little things in life. Even things that made you laugh before can lose their appeal. It's always a good idea to not let the blues get to you. Think chocolate. Number seven, you've stopped working on your hobbies. How long has it been since you last picked up that paintbrush or strummed that guitar? Is it difficult for you to find the motivation to work on a hobby lately? It could be due to being preoccupied with stress and the negativity around you. Your hobbies and genuine interests should provide you with relaxation and an escape from the noise of the world. But when it no longer does, perhaps your surroundings have reached a toxic level of negativity. Number eight, extended periods of isolation. Have social events that once appealed to you lost their luster? If you would not consider touching another social invite, even with a 10 foot pole, perhaps the negativity of your surroundings has caught up to you. Maybe your previous social experiences have dissuaded you from stepping out of your house, or the toxicity around you leaves you drained to the point that you can't fathom putting in the extra effort for pleasantries. 
So you resort to isolating yourself in order to take a break from it all, as it has all left you feeling unsure of yourself as well as others. However, it's important to maintain a healthy social life, and to do so, it's beneficial to find your niche, a location or a set of people who you find yourself truly comfortable in or with. And number nine, environment of gossip. Do you often find yourself clutched in unrelenting gossip? Even if it's not about you, gossip not only reflects poorly on its teller, but it can make you self-conscious and more negative. Beware of mean-spirited conversations in general and try not to engage in them yourself. Being negative once in a while is natural, but prolonged negativity can dampen your spirits and greatly reduce your satisfaction with life. It's important to remember, life is too short to remain trapped in a bubble of negativity and toxicity. If you frequently experience some of the situations mentioned, perhaps it's time to reevaluate some of the situations and relationships around you. We hope this can help you cleanse negativity from your life making way for the abundance of positive vibes. Do any of these describe your experiences? Leave a comment down below and feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there being subjected to these negative vibes. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. As always, thanks for watching.